Hi, it's Meg from Meg's Garden here to show you my latest uh, journal or app journal or junk journal, whatever you like to call them. I think they're more appropriately called art journals. This is done in an extremely shabby chic style using the latest pink and green papers. This is the cover. This is um, a, a chip frame that's been uh, mounted with a piece of um, cut and create behind it, a transparency butterfly and some lace and ribbons and paper flowers. The spine is pretty simple. Um, it just has some lace, two ribbons, a vintage trinket and a flower and then the back cover is um, simple with just some cut and creates and um, a silk flower and leaves just to uh, finish the layout of the cover. Now let's go inside and I it's very fat you can see it's very fat because I went very very silly with the embellishment but that's what you're supposed to do for a shabby chic journal. Um, the papers were designed so that they were used on opposing pages so you have to be careful if you want that to continue through the book. This is uh, one side of the paper. It's on the actually on the inside cover. And this is the opposite um, piece. And that's on the front of the first signature um, so that you use the, the designs because that's really how they should be used. This has just a little booklet with French vintage trinket and um, pearls and um, lace. This is uh, one of the fans from the Cut and Creates. In order to create the fan effect you need to score down the ribs and then turn it over and score the opposite way and that way it will sit nice and um, easily. Just a little piece of lace and a flower at the bottom of the fan. If you wish to um, add more texture to the fan you can pop some um, fabric behind it or cotton balls really work well. This is uh, the next page and this is the back of um, the cardstock and this is the front of the cardstock with the matching um, papers. This is a, a tag that um, I kind of got lazy and pinched and used and it, it really works well on the paper. The next one is all green and it has a vellum envelope here and a cut and create tucked in and some um, gilding on the um, butterflies. This one is done totally in lace. Uh, some lace tucked into the envelope. Uh, the envelope slit so that it fits in and some lavender flowers, paper flowers and ribbon to uh, pick up the lavender in the um, floral bouquet. This is the green and these should not be opposite each other although they need to be opposite um, in the design but because they're opposite they um, hit each other and create a bit of a buckling. Next one is a little bit simpler. Um, a die cut that's done from one of the papers that I did not use and a tag and then this is the back of the first signature with a little book. To get it to open totally you score it twice and then glue down that piece. The second signature. Um, this is another little book done the same way with the doily vintage trinket and pearls. Some tuck-ins here, a cut and create and then a cut and create and this is off-centered because I wanted uh, a hint of the inside of the little booklet to show. This one also has a little booklet. This is what I decided to feature on this one. Uh, cut and, uh, these are two die cuts 
that are done also with uh, one of the papers that I didn't use. So you get a really nice effect um, adding the pearls to it and also with, it's not quite pink, it just has that hint of um, colour. This is one of the lace with diamantes, very beautiful, and I've just tucked in a cut and create. And this is done on tea dyed paper, so that it's just, uh, I think this was done with green tea, and you just get that hint of colour on it. This one is, I think, probably the prettiest one. Um, we've got another fan here, and we've got a slit in the papers. Whenever you do this, um, always tape at the top and the bottom, uh, on the back of course, um, so that you don't have um, any tears. And this is um, done the same way. This one's tucked in. This one uses the lace as a, a spot for tucking in. This one is fairly simple. Uh, lace again, organs, organdy, um, sorry, organza ribbon, and some cut and creates, and the same at the end. Some lace again, and you could tuck in here some ribbon and another pearl, and that's my journal. I'm working on the next one. Uh, this this was actually done with the. 7, I'm sorry, 5.5 .5 by 8.3 inch papers, but they are also available in 5 by 7, um, so you don't have to have as big a journal as this. Um, both in digital and also printed. Um, I hope you enjoyed my very, very, very embellished shabby chic journal, and I'm working on the next one at the moment, so I'll see you soon. Make sure you subscribe and um, get your email address to our newsletter list so that you can stay on top of what we're doing. It only comes out about every six weeks or so. Um, that's Meg signing out and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.